Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying towards your grade seven, your grade eight or your grade nine. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, in this uh, section or in this short lesson, I just want to quickly show you the part where you do the algebraic expressions and it deals with subtraction. Now, how do you work with um, some expressions in subtraction? Just to begin with, if you are given an example to say 5 plus 6 plus 2 minus 4, I mean, you can use your calculator quickly to check what this becomes. It will be 5 plus 6 plus 2 minus 4. 4 and the calculator is telling me that this is a 9 now the question is how do you come about the 9 so if you say 5 plus 6 you get your 11 and then 11 plus 2 you get your 13 so this is saying 13 minus 4 now if you say 13 minus 4 using your normal subtraction you can see that this becomes a 9 so that is how the answer is now in this particular instance, I've got um, some animals. I think I did the example when I was doing the addition to say, this is a cow, that's another cow, that's another cow, and then that's another cow, and that's another cow. As well as I've got some sheep looking at me there, and some sheep, and some sheep. So I've got all these uh, animals. In total, there are eight animals. Now, if I'm to add these animals, if I say to you, how many animals are we having? You are going to say, I've got one cow, two cow, three cows, four cows, five cows. So you're going to say cow, in this case, it will be cow plus cow plus cow plus cow plus cow. That is one side. And then you're going to have sheep plus sheep plus sheep. So how many cows are we having? We've got five cows. And how many sheep are we having? We have three sheep. So this is um, the number of animals we're having, five cows and three sheep. So if I say to you 5C plus 3S, meaning five cows plus three sheep, if I say add that, there is no further simplification you can have. This is the final answer. It will remain as five cows plus three sheep. Don't be tempted now to say I have got eight cows sheep because there is nothing like a cow sheep. You have got five cows plus three sheep. Using that example, let us use the same concept now when you are looking at subtraction. Now, if I say to me, to you, I mean, add 5x plus 6x plus 2x minus 4x. The first thing to do with this algebraic expression is to look at your variables or the unknowns. You must check if you are dealing with the same thing. I'm dealing with x in the first one. I'm dealing with x in the second one, identically similar, the variables. Even the third one is identically similar. And the fourth one is identically similar. So what I must do is I must consider the first three where I can add them, which is the numbers 5 and 6 and 2. So if you're saying 5 plus 6, I'm going to get 11. But now you write it as you remain uh, with that variable, which is 11x. 11 plus 2x, which is 13x. Just similar to what we did in this particular example. It was 5 plus 6 plus 2. The only difference now is that there is only the placeholder x. So in this case, I have here 5 plus 6 plus 2 which is 13x. Now 13x, then I subtract 4x. It is same as saying 13 minus 4, which is 9, but you maintain your x 
to show that you are still dealing with x just like in this case i maintain to say 5c meaning i was dealing with cows now looking at the next one if i'm to subtract 6xyz plus 2xy i mean to add the 2 and then subtract x 8xyz what am i given here you must look at the variables which are identical those variables that are identical, you can only add them and only subtract them. If they are not identical, you need to leave them out. So I've got 6xyz. So the one that determines is the variable. In the second one, I've got xy. There is no z, so I leave it out. Then in the third uh, part expression, I have got xyz, which the two, you can see that these are similar. So let me bring them together so that I will be having 6xyz minus 8xyz. So I'm just rearranging. This is called grouping. I'm bringing what is similar together, just like I'll bring cows together and sheep together, plus 2xy. This one is different because it does not have a z. So now, how do I go about now, whenever I'm subtracting the first two, what you must focus on is the number 6 and the number 8. So I'm saying 6 minus 8. So the simple thing you must remember is like I'm saying 8 minus 6. From 8, if we subtract 6, you get a 2. But the bigger number in this case is 8, and that particular number has a negative. Hence, your answer becomes negative 2. But if you're doubting, you can always use your calculator quickly. And then you say 6 minus 8, it will give you that number, negative 2. So I've got minus 2. Now I must maintain my x, y, and z. Then after that, I'll have plus 2x, y. Now the fact that the first variable is x, y, z, and the second variable is x, y, the final answer remains as is because these two are already different the fact that there is no z in the other one it means um, i mean what it means is you can only go as far as this now let us look at the last one i'm supposed to uh, add and subtract here because it's a combination of addition and subtraction now remember whatever you're adding must be similar whatever you're subtracting must be similar anything that is not similar you have to leave it out now let us start with the first one i've got the variable xy that's what you're focusing on and then the second one the variable is yx and remember yx is the same as xy it's just a matter of the first one started with the x and the second one started with the y so the first two you can see that these are related you can add them together or separate them in this case since we're separating let us move on to the second one i have got x y squared the square is with the y i have got x squared y the square is with the x these two are different i have got uh, x squared y and then the square is with the x now you can see that this and that it's similar also together why because the x squared and the x squared the y and the y all these are similar now the next one that i'm having is, the last one that i'm having is 13 x y squared now the 13 x y squared if you look carefully the squared is with the y it is the same as that so you can see that these are similar and also what you need to remember if i'm just given x squared y without any number before this is that particular number becomes a one so the coefficient meaning the number before the x squared y is one it can be left out but you can also indicate it so that it doesn't confuse you now how do you go about simplifying this you need to then group them together the first one is already grouped as 6xy minus 3 remember y x can be written again start with the x and follow with the y and then after that we have got plus you have 2 x y squared the square is with the y and then you bring that 13 to 2 grouping them remember which is 13 
x y squared and then you have minus 1 x squared y I said 1 is a placeholder there plus 8 x squared y so why what am I doing I'm collecting the like terms meaning I'm grouping them so that I can add them easily or separate them now the first one you focus on the numbers since you have grouped them it's like you're grouping cows together x y x y is like you're grouping cows together x y squared x y squared is like you're grouping maybe chickens together x squared y and x squared y it means maybe you are grouping sheep together so these are not the same in as much as you are going to say but they all have x and y the fact that the others have got squared on the y and the others have, have got squared on the x it means automatically in algebra these are totally different so now if i look at the first two you need to focus on the number six and three now if i separate six minus three i'm going to get three and the place i mean the variable there remember is x y and then plus i'm adding now 2 plus 13 which is 15 x y squared and now the next one is minus 1 plus 8 the bigger number there is 8 so you see 8 minus 1 so the positive number there is going to be plus 7 but you can use a calculator just to verify which is plus 7 x squared y so this is how far uh, this particular expression can go from that to that and this is the end of this expression as far as we are adding or separating it cannot go any further so remember whenever you are adding use the examples that are there in your natural environment like whether you are adding things like uh, a cow a sheep you are adding things like uh, in your kitchen a cup a spoon anything that is physical just pick ask yourself is it possible for me to add um, a cow and a dog and get a cow dog is not possible I can only have cows remaining as cows and dogs remaining as dogs so it's the same thing with algebra if you have got xy and xy squared and x squared y you can only remain with them as they are because they cannot add any feather I hope this was of benefit to you check me out also when I look at multiplication because in multiplication I also show you the difference between addition and multiplication of algebra. Thank you.